Hi, I'm Jo from Jo's Paradise of Colour. Today I am going to be working on an order for white, silver, grey and black yarn. This one is going to be spun up as a fingering weight, um, two-ply constructed yarn. I have stripped, I have stripped colours, so I've got strips of white, merino, so this is all merino, strips of white, um, some little white silver bits, so it goes white, silver, grey, some darker grey, and jet black, then jet black. So hopefully it turns out really lovely. Um, I'm pretty sure it will. Now that I have, I've finished with the black, so I'm going to go back through to a dark grey. Hmm. See, this is the planning part of it. I'm trying to work out what effect is going to be more effective. Um, this is going to be for a uh, a woven piece. So I don't want to have it the typical um, like gradient and then continued with repeat of that gradient. I want to have it from the start gradient then reversed. So white, silver, grey, black, grey, silver, white, then it will be silver, grey, black, grey, silver, white. So it should be interesting and pretty. Um, So just add that. Going to move it up so I can try and keep the colours together as good as I can. Now I've noticed in the last couple of videos that my um, lighting keeps going in and out, um, dark to light. I think my uh, I think my light bulb's starting starting to go. I have to replace it. Or I was thinking of getting myself one of those, um, those round lights, you know, those round lights that go around your phone. Eventually I would love to be able to buy a Nikon camera, um, for my videoing 
but unfortunately they are as expensive as fiber equipment so at the moment my priorities are more on setting myself up with my fiber production stuff before anything else and restocking my fiber and my threads maybe I can work on getting a new camera next year I've got a few goals to do this year I can't really afford spending more money on other stuff now it is silver not, not much of a difference when I dyed this one up I was trying to get the black silver and white um, in their own little sections but I had a lot of color running in this one at the end of the process it the color of the silver and the black the black had turned into a dark charcoal gray color and the silver ran into my white section and I was not very happy with the end result on that one um, I should have dyed it flat out on the bench with the paintbrush which is a it is a lot easier to control your dye if you do it that way instead I did it in a um, a tray and the colors just ran all over the place um, so unfortunate lesson learned if you're doing more than two colors don't use a tray especially if you're using um, solid colors like black with white I don't have a lot of the black so this is why I'm doing it this way I've got a heap of the other colors but not much of the black for anyone waiting for a review video on my new electric spinner my uh, super jumbo flyer uh, super jumbo e-spinner um, I decided I'm not going to do one until I have um, perfected the technique of using the thing because I swear too much um, when I can't get something right and I will be banned from YouTube if I do one at this moment I'm I'm really trying to work out how to use it first before I give a proper review
this fiber because it comes from a warehouse or um yeah it's like a, a private seller but more like uh bulk stock in warehouse or garage or I don't know where it is kept but um and I'm not sure if it's because of when it was milled um but it has a lot of grass and burrs in it which I just pick out when I'm spinning. However, because if, even though it's got a lot of stuff in it, this, it is beautiful. Really beautiful to dye and really beautiful to spin. And it's soft. Um, I found that it dies up a lot better and spins up a lot better than 18 micron merino and that's supposed to be higher quality but this one's a 21 micron merino and it is quite beautiful to work with very easy to work with very easy on the fingers Some, some fibre that you get is just so coarse and um, scratchy, but merino is very nice. Very, very nice. bit more expensive than the other stuff but it is worth the money now I'm going black merino is my go-to base fiber for anything super easy to use it's so soft it is perfect for anyone with allergies or very sensitive skin when I say wool I think scratchy but merino is a luxury wool it is just to die for now I am going dark charcoal it's a pattern
I love to spin fast. It is. I'm hoping that this yarn doesn't take me um, more than two days to create. With a four ply. With four ply it normally does take anywhere up to four days. I thought I felt something. I will show you the yarn that this is to go with. Um, to have an idea how this type of yarn stains up. The other one I used a lot of mix um, mixed wool types, uh, mixed colours, a little leftover merinos, but also um, a lot of I did a lot of hand carding of staples um, for it as well so it is quite um, it's a beautiful yarn there's a lot of texture perfect for woven piece so really looking forward to actually seeing it made up um, that's the best part one of the best parts of making for other people is when they show their end pieces that they've made with it. Also gives me an idea and understanding of how and what is best for what. If you know what I mean when spinning because I've only just been spinning pretty much forever um, I don't personally knit and I do but I do um, weave but um, everyone has a different style when they make their stuff so I love to see what they come up with
Hi, I'm Jo from Jo's Paradise of Colour. Tonight I will be plying up the uh, fingering weight um, single that I had spun today um, to make a spiral spun yarn with uh, Japanese silk. So this is the single I spun for an order and I will, um, this is made from 21 micron merino and the plying thread that I'm going to be using is a two ply Japanese silk in dark brown. I would normally try and match the color that I am spinning but I've run out of majority of my silks and that's the closest I could get to it. It's such a pretty brown, very pretty brown. Okay. Because you have a much thinner thread than your spun single, you will get a lovely textured spiral effect. But if you spun two singles together, you wouldn't. It would be more of a traditional spin. Now there is no right way or wrong way to how you should be holding your your single and your thread to climb. It's whatever comes natural to the spinner. I alter, I change when my hands get tired or when my back gets sore I will change my posture I will change the way I hold my my single and my threads also take in mind that this is hand spun yarn and not a commercial yarn so it is not supposed to be perfect perfectly even throughout it is allowed to have some thin bits some thicker bits and texture and character
like I just said before. Um, this is the other one that she's bought, uh, which she will be using to go with this yarn that I'm making. It's um, a two-ply uh, fingering weight yarn with a lot of um, mixed merinos um, and the yellow golds and reds were um, staples which I had hand-carded and then spun into this. 